What up all you clashers out there? This is Galaxus and I am here on Holy Sword Excalibur's account. Sent it in to me, man. We're going to be doing some work here. We're trying to get some new talents for him. So he's bought some gems. We're going to do some talent refreshes. And, uh, you know, we'll probably try a couple times for some gem roll heroes. But mostly, we're, we're going to be doing some talent refreshes. So you can check it out, man. You can see he got a pretty beastie squad that he's been putting together. And, uh, you know, been really grinding on it. Got a couple new legendary heroes. So let's just take a look real quick. See what everybody's talents are because we're going to replace some of these guys' talents. So just trying to see. Take a look real quick. Got his Cupid. Got a Santa Boom there. Got a 4 of 8 Scatter on Druid. That's not bad. 3 of 5 Revitalize. Not too bad on the Thunder. Got a 5 of 8 Stone Skin for the Harpy. And a 2 of 8 Revive. We probably want to get a Revitalize for this guy if we can get one for him. Yeah, Snowzilla. So we got some pretty nice legendary heroes, but we definitely need some new talents. So I'm saying let's just go ahead and start with Ares. Get in here and see if we can get something good, man. We're spending 300 gems. Spending 300 gems. Okay. Come on, give us something good here to start it out. Oh, man, a 1 of 8 revive. I have to keep on going. Got a 1 of 8 scatter. I need something better than a 1 of 8. We need some good stuff here. 2 of 5 revitalize. Okay. Um, you know, that's probably not good enough to keep for Ares. So uh, we don't want to just get rid of the 2 of 5 revive, but that's not really good for Ares. So uh, let's take a look real quick. Find out who he has that we can throw it on. Don't want to put it on him. I guess we can go ahead and replace it on this Cupid. Back up Cupid. There you go. All right. So back up let's go ahead and keep on trying to go uh, we're trying for a 5 of 5 revive if we can get that a 2 of 8 heavy blow and a 1 of 8 scatter man we're not really getting very much good stuff here a 2 of 8 scorch that's not oh my goodness and a 3 of 8 scorch well you know that's a 3 of 8 scorch now I actually you know I probably would go ahead and keep that because it will bring up uh, you know, bring up might a little bit. So let's see if we can find somebody. It's a three of eight. Try and find somebody to throw that on real quick. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on her. Because a one of eight sprint really isn't uh, anything special. So let's keep on going, man. Come on and give us something good. Shake it up a little bit here. Come on and give us something awesome. Looking for that five of five revitalized. And a 1 of 5 Enlightened. That's not even really good enough to keep. Let's keep going. Got a 1 of 8 Stone Skin. Man. And another 2 of 5 Revitalize. Are you serious? We want a good Revitalize. We don't want a 2 of 5. I mean, that's just not, you know, not really what we're looking for. Pretty cool that we keep on getting Revitalized. But, man, we're looking for something good. Go ahead and put that on Atlanta Core, and um, you know, just it doesn't seem like we're gonna get a revitalize for our Aries, man. Two of a slowdown. Come on, man. I need something good. A one of a heavy blow. You know, maybe what we'll do is we'll switch. We'll go ahead and try and put it on somebody else because that that is just garbage, man. One of a heavy blows. One of eights. Look at that. Five of eight bulwark. Oh my goodness, man. That is the, the perfect thing for Santa. That is exactly what we were looking for. Five of eight, of course, we'll replace that. Of course. Five of eight bulwark. That's a Santa boom right there. That's what's up. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is exactly what we were looking for. So things are hot, man. Let's keep on going in. Let's see if we can get something good for our Aries here, man. Yeah, we'll spin 300. A one of eight reserve. Okay. It's not good enough to keep. Two of eight scorch. Let's see. You know, maybe we'll probably roll one more here. One of five enlightened. You know, let's go ahead and uh because these aren't doing very good, man. We're not. We're at 2879. Let's roll a couple legends. Let's see if we can get a legendary hero. Something awesome here to get this thing going, man. Because, hey, we, we already picked up the 5 of 8 Bulwark. 
That is awesome. I mean, man, I just got one of those on my uh, Smurf Bliss the other day, man. And, you know, from there, the sky is the limit, man. Bringing it all the way up. I got it up to 7 of 8 now. You know, just working on that 8 of 8, man. But, uh, hey, right on. We got that. So let's see what we can pick up. Give us a good legend. Let's roll those to the warehouse. Pick up a Skull Knight or something for them. Oh, man. A Cyclops and a Serpent Queen. Let's try that one more time. See if we can get something good here. Okay. All right. It's not our time for Legends. You know, we, we figured we'd go ahead and try a couple. So that was worth trying. But uh, let's go back in for Talents. We'll try for the Revite on Cupid. Let's see if we can get something good for Cupid. Come on. Give us that good Revite. Oh, a four of a deadly strike. That's not bad at all. That, that'd be great for Dread Drake or Skull Knight if you had a Skull Knight. But, man, who do we put this on? And a four of a deadly strike. Yeah, that's one of those deals that is pretty difficult because uh, you have three of five revitalized on the Thunder God. Um, basically, you want to put that on somebody that's a tank but somebody that's going to be, you know, doing a lot of damage. So, I mean, you know, maybe maybe a Snowzilla. I think I've done that before. Put a deadly strike on Snowzilla. And that guy has a 3 of 8 Scorch. I mean, that's an option. You know, I may have to... Uh, it's pretty difficult, man, when you get this situation. I might... So, I would say go ahead and put it on Thunder God. But, um... You know, I might have to go ahead and hit him up real quick online and see what what he's you know what he want to do with that because uh, since we don't have Skull Knight, it's sort of a difficult one. Could probably put that on the Grizzly Reaper. It's got a lot of backup legends here. Let's see what he says. I'm hitting him up right now online. We're gonna see what he has to say. And, uh, man, it's one of those decisions. I mean, typically, I just go ahead and start putting it on somebody. But a 4 of 8 Deadly Strike isn't bad at all, man. And you don't want to just throw it away. You know, I'd like to probably put it on either Thunder God or Snowzilla. So, I've asked him, Thunder God or Snowzilla. Sort of just waiting for a response here. And uh, as soon as he tells me what to do, I'll go ahead and move forward. I just don't... we got a few more... Uh, you know, tell us that we can roll a couple more times that we can roll and I want to be able to do that But before we uh, make a decision, I just want to make sure that you know I can get a run it by him real quick get a chance to run it by him. So Let's See I think uh, I Think we're gonna go ahead and be putting that on our snowzilla I've told him we could either put it on snowzilla or thunder god and uh, he wants to keep the 5 of 5 and lighten on Dread Drake. So definitely don't put that on Dread Drake. Um, you know, I think we're going to go with Snowzilla, right? Because Dread Drake, I mean, I have a 5 of 5 and lighten on my Dread Drake. And, you know, you want to keep that until after you've evolved and then take them all the way back up for double evolution. And then... Really, after that, you want to keep them, keep that on them for a while, and uh, definitely wouldn't want to replace it on any of these guys. You want somebody that's going to be strong attack, and uh, you know, Harpy Queen, she has a five of eight. Um, just waiting for the response back from him. I think Snowzilla is probably the best way to go. You know, Snowzilla with the three of eight Scorch, replace that on the Snowzilla. And then you got, uh, you know, pretty strong Snowzilla. If you can go ahead and evolve him, which wouldn't be too hard because Snowzilla, uh, you know, isn't too hard to come by. Uh, not, well, sometimes. You might have to end up paying it. But, yeah, I think Snowzilla is the one. We're going to go ahead and replace Snowzilla. All right, cool. So, ran that by him. Snowzilla was the chosen one. We put the 4 of a Deadly Strike on him. So, let's go ahead and keep on going. I got uh, 1,600 gems left so we do have a few more tries here 
Let's see, we already got the four of eight, uh, five of eight bulwark for our Santa Boom. We got a four of eight deadly strike. Let's see if we can get something here rolling. Now, Cyclops, I figured, hey, we roll one more, give us even gems. We got five attempts at uh, trying to pick up a good talent. Let's see here. Let's see if we can break it wide open with Aries here. Come on, give us something good. I got a three or five enlightened. That's not too bad, actually. I mean, you know, it's not the best, but three or five enlightened. Probably okay to replace that revive with the three or five enlightened. You know, that's gonna it's gonna definitely help out, give 60% more experience. So uh, definitely gonna help out raising him up. And then they're giving a lot of enlightens out right now, man. 900 left. And a four of eight scatter. Okay, that's pretty awesome. It's getting a lot of high level talents. I actually have a four of eight scatter druid on one of my uh, strong accounts that I play on a lot. So four of eight scatter druid is pretty awesome. So could go ahead and put it on Grizzly Reaper. Make him a scatter reaper because he's the fastest attacking besides Skull Knight. Now they have Skull Knight, but uh, he's one of the fastest in the game. So scattering. Perfect for a Reaper. And he can always replace the level 2 Sprint with some level 2 Sprint Crest. So that's not too bad there. All right. And a 4 of 8 Berserk. Oh, my God, man. All right. That's what's up right there. I mean, I would just go ahead and probably drop it on drop it on the Pumpkin. I guess he could put it on the Pumpkin. I mean, you, you really want a 5 of 8 Berserk, you know, for the Pumpkin. That's sort of getting rid of that heaven's wrath. Um, you know, that's a tough one right there. I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, you put it on the harpy. You can throw it on her real quick. She has a stone skin though, and that could be pretty beasty on the harpy. But uh, you know, increased attack speed by 25%. That's really effective. I have to figure out who to put that on. I think we'll just leave that for him, so he can log in and make a decision on that. But uh, we do have a couple gems left, and since we got that talent that's going to be sitting there, we'll go ahead and roll those gems and see if we can get a new legend. We got two tries. Let's see if we can pick up something awesome here, man. We're going to roll it to the warehouse here because we got five spots open. So no worry about that. Let's see if we can do it. You know, it happens sometimes. You can get extra lucky and get something here, man. So come on and give us some legendary heroes. That's a pretty good talent so far. Got a pain and a werewolf, okay. Well, you know, that's all good, man. We did actually turn out, you know, some pretty decent stuff. Got a four of eight Berserk, got a four of eight Scorch. Um, you know, we got a five of eight Bulwark here. We put on the Santa Boom. That is awesome right there. I mean, that dream results right there, man. A five of eight Bulwark. That probably makes it all worth it. Then you got a three of five Enlighten that we got for Ares. And uh, see who else we get a four of eight scatter for Grizzly Reaper. So now has a scatter team that he's forming. And uh, we also got that four of eight berserk that possibly could replace uh, Punk and Duke's talent. You know, that, that is possible. He could think about doing that. And then we also got the four of eight deadly strike for Snowzilla. Now, if we would have had Skull Knight, that would have been tight. But we didn't have Skull Knight to do, so we had to go ahead and make a decision. I think Snowzilla was a good decision. So, uh, you know, big ups for, for letting me roll that for you. And I almost forgot the, <laughs> the the events that we have here to do, man. Don't forget those. We got Smash and Win. We got Bingo Blast. So, unbelievable. Almost forgot that. So, let's go ahead and go back in. See if we can pick up something awesome. I hit him up and tell him, yeah, man, I'm pretty much done here. And he was like, man, did you do those events? Like, Oops. We get back in here real quick. See if we can get something tight for him. So we got four tries. Let's go diagonal, guys. Let's go straight across. Got one there. Get a stamp. Yep, we'll take that. It's gonna give us the 200 shards. Always need some new shards. You know, throw that in. You're always gonna need more shards. So go ahead and do that. Once we complete the row here real quick, we can get a full set. See if we can get a legendary hero card. We're gonna try and get something good. I think you can get some gems out of that stuff. You can get like 
you know, keys and stuff like that. So there we go. We've got a whole set now. So we get the uh, bag and the chest at the end. So yes, it does work diagonal. You can do it diagonally and still get the stuff. Man, we got legendary hero card straight up. That is what I'm talking about, man. It doesn't always happen, but it is tight when that happens. Okay, so cool. And this we got a gold key. Nice. Man, that is pretty good. This is actually maybe a good time to be doing events right now, man. It's all about timing. Let's see if we can pick up something here and smash and win. We could get Arctica. We can get a Magulum Skull Knight. Man. Multanica. Wow. That would be awesome, right? Okay, come on, man. We got some smashes. Let's get our smash on. Let's start smashing on something. We about to smash on a new legendary hero. What is happening? This guy at the end, doesn't he just look so devious? The guy in the end, he's scared. The guy in the middle looks devious. Let's go for the scared guy. Let's go ahead and knock him out real quick. What you got, buddy? 40 shards. What about the devious dude in the middle right here, man? What do you got? Oh, man, 40 sharded on us again. I'm thinking crack him on the dome again. What you got, buddy? Oh, we got a tree and tar card. That's what's up, man. Okay, cool. I don't even think he had a tree and tar, man. That is a brand new legendary hero. Awesome, man. That is tight. Tree and tar is a good. Okay, 100 gems. 100 gems. We'll take that. Gets us closer to rolling again. Tree and tar is a good legendary hero to have in a lot of game modes, man. I mean, you know, they, they made him. They disabled his reviving ability for HBM, so that's sort of jacked up a little bit, but it's all good. But besides that, man, put him in Lost Realm, Lost Battlefield. I mean, uh, you know, he really gets, he goes crazy. Put him out there on Expeditions. You know, he's able to clinch it if you're on that 10 of 10. And uh, you're just trying to do, a, I'm looking for somebody that we can get rid of. Because we're going to, in order to open that tree and tar up, we're going to have to find uh, some room here. That's this level 20, a 3 of 8. Bro, I'm sorry, I think we're going to have to get rid of that guy, man. Because we need some room to open that tree and tar up. And uh, I think he might be the one. 3 of 8. Uh slow down he's been working on that so we'll go ahead and just have um i guess we will look for somebody here to consume that haven't been doing any consuming because we've been rolling for talents but got some pretty good stuff went on and now we have picked up a tree and tar man we're gonna open him up go ahead and get rid of him real quick we'll take the 40 shards we'll take the 100 gems that is all to the good. And right in here is where our stuff is. Actually, well, he has a bunch of growth packs and all of the other stuff that they gave him, plus 200 to 200 shards. So, and there you go. Got a legendary hero card, and we have our tree and tar. Let's go ahead and grab that stuff. And that's right, we got the legendary hero card still that we get a chance to do too. I've been hearing good stuff. You know, Vlad Dracula coming out of those, Ares, Warlock. That's the word, man. I mean, you know, I haven't seen it happen myself. Maybe they tweak those things a little bit because, you know, I've been complaining about it. That's for sure. Don't have enough space. Oh, yeah, we're over. 77 of 75. Okay. Got to just clear some of this stuff out. The mirror pack. Let's make a little bit of room here. and We can open that up. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use one of these That makes it the easiest and we'll go ahead and we, we're not gonna mess with any of the other stuff We'll leave the gelatinous champion essences and those other heroes. We'll leave all that stuff. We're just gonna go ahead and open up the Legendary hero card give us something awesome here, man. Oh Man a paladin That's the one that you don't like to see man. You see a paladin pop out. It's like oh, man all right, Tree and Tar, what do you have? Are you going to be awesome? You know what? The best thing would be is if we can get a 5 of 5 revive, or 5 of 8 revive on him, man. Just right off the bat. It used to be 5 of 5. And now they go all the way up to 5 of 8. Got a War God. 
Is it gonna be a five? No, it's a one. Level one war god, okay. Not really tight, but that's okay, man. We can always switch that out. He has Treantar. Added a new legendary hero, man. That is awesome. It's always fun to get a new legend to play with, man. So, got that to work on. And then you also got that 5 of 8 bulwark on the Santa Boom. So, have a lot of fun with that, man. You know, I appreciate you giving me a chance to roll for you, bro. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If anybody else wants me to roll for him, hit me up. Leave me a comment. Hit me up on line chat. Uh, either way, just keep on grinding, y'all. Until next time, Galaxis out. Out, out, out.